What up, everyone? So, moving right along with the month of December and trying to get caught up. So, we got Sci-Fi Block here. Um, this is the second month I've gotten this box, second month it's been out. First month, honestly, I wasn't too impressed by it. It was okay. It's a good box. I like the Nerd Block Company. They do good stuff, but, you know, really nothing, nothing to really baffle over. But, let's see what we got in this month's box. I like this company. They're pretty trustworthy. They always come up with good stuff. So, I'm usually never too disappointed with what they have to offer. Obviously, we have a shirt. Let's take a look at what we got this month. Shirt-wise, got a nice shirt punch t-shirt. That is really badass. That is really cool. Nice Star Wars t-shirt. It has like a nice artistic design to it. Um, I wonder if this is artwork from someone. Um, last month's horror block, we got artwork on the t-shirt from Lee Howard, which is really cool because it's, it's just really awesome to have artwork in general, but to have a t-shirt by an artist makes it that much more special. And this looks genuinely cool. So it looks like Captain Phasma there, and it just looks like an artistic rendition of the helmet. And it's got some nice paint spatters on it. That's really cool. I, I genuinely like that. Uh, it seems soft. It looks like we got the Gildan soft style, and it's fitted, so that's pretty nice. You know, I think I'll give this one an 8 out of 10. I think that's a really good shirt. Um, we'll find out if there was an artist attached to it. If there is, I think that'll up the rating a little bit, but I really like that. That's cool. Uh, too bad Star Wars already came out, or else I would wear that to the premiere, but, you know, still cool to have Star Wars shirts. Where, uh, I just hope the market doesn't get too flooded with all the Star Wars stuff. We saw a lot of it last month, a lot. So, you know, we'll see. Let's see what else we got. So it looks like we got a pop figure from Firefly, and we got Zoe. So, you know, nothing, uh, it's not exclusive or anything, there's nothing special about it, it's just a random one. I actually have not checked out Firefly, I heard it's good, haven't checked it out myself, but I'm sure it's great, but you know, I'm sure, um, this looks like we got, you just got a random one from the series, and this is what I got, common pop figure, okay. Next, what do we got here, ha, okay, we got a Tribble, so you can just, I don't know, you need to take out the package, you can see what it is. So it's a triple. For those of you who don't know what tribbles are, this is from the original Star Trek series, and they were basically just little fucking furry balls. <laughs> like that's just what they were. So, yeah, that's that's the most apt description I could give them. And that's what this is. Just a little fuzzy little critter. And they rolled around and caused mayhem and did stuff like that. I think they were only in like two episodes in the whole series. But for some reason they're a popular character because this is like the third time I've seen a Tribble show up in um, just a box in general. So, got a little stuffed Tribble. That's cute. I like it. Let's see what else we got here. So we got a keychain. So it looks like um, Nerdblock, the Nerdblock company is putting out a lot of these lately. And we got a little blaster here, an exclusive keychain. They've been putting out a few of these. Um, we got Thor's hammer. We got um, something else from another block. And this looks like a blaster. I'm sure it's from something specific. It kind of looks like the one that you use in um, Call of Duty when you're playing like zombie mode and stuff. I doubt that's what it's from. I'm sure this is from some specific sci-fi show or movie. I don't know it's specifically what it is, but it looks like a common looking blaster toy. So yeah, an exclusive little keychain. There you go. So it seems like they're they're putting out a lot of those lately, so I'm sure we'll see a lot more of those in the future. Da -da -da. Next, we got a patch. Okay, so this is a paranormal investigation patch, which I'm assuming is from um, the X-Files, because it says the truth is out there, and that is their, like, staple catchphrase. Um... You know, I haven't been keeping track of it. I knew, I know there's a new show coming out. I don't know if it started yet because I actually wanted to check it out and I just, I'm not up to date with TV at all. <clears throat> but I hope it hasn't started yet because I actually wanted to watch that. My, my family was a big fan of the original series and I watched it here and there. I thought it was cool, but I think it's cool that they're bringing the series back. I'm actually pretty excited to see it. So hopefully I haven't missed it yet or, or maybe if it is out, someone can tell me if it's any good so I can check it out. So, oh, it says X-Files right on there. I'm retarded. So yeah, that's obviously from the X-Files, but the show looks really cool. Check that out. All right. And the last items. Looks like we got some cards, a.k.a. artwork. So it looks like we got three of them. 
So the first one, Vader. And then we got the whole half face thing going here. Next, Kylo Ren. Nice. And the last one, I think is Captain Phasma. Ah, that might just be a Stormtrooper. It's hard to tell. Yeah, I think that's just a Stormtrooper. Never mind. Yeah, all right. So we got some artwork there. Say who it's from. Lee Howard, yeah. Yeah, okay, so that was all the items in the box. So we'll take a short break, and then we'll come back and talk about the value of these items and give this box a rating. See you soon. All right, we are back. Let's go back through the items and to give this some value. So the t-shirt, um, it didn't say it was by any specific artist, but you know, it is a really nice shirt. I really like the design of it, it's very cool. Um, this is a really great shirt, I genuinely like it. So eight out of 10 on that, but it'll still get the standard 12 to $15 as all shirts do. Next, the pop figure. This will get $10 and that's being generous. A lot of places you can find just common pop figures um, eight or nine bucks in comic stores or at Hot Topic they have them for like three for twenty five which makes them a little over eight dollars so ten dollars is honestly generous so I might start giving it even a little less because it's just very common you can find these just about anywhere so not hard at all to find really not much value but ten dollars to be generous <clears throat> the keychain these are all run about the same like five or six bucks um, maybe a dollar or two more depending on how long you wait to buy them but, you know, that's that's pretty standard. They're exclusive to the NerdBlock Company's boxes, whatever it's from, sci-fi, horror. So they're exclusive to it, but, you know, comparable keychains um, in any comic store are around that same price. Even, like, nice metal ones, they're around five or six bucks. So the fact that it's exclusive um, doesn't really help it out at all, only because um, the keychains are always modeled after something, but they're not branded or anything, so it's hard to give it value when it's not branded. So even like Thor's hammer and stuff like that, it was very obviously Thor's hammer, but they couldn't say that because they'd have to pay rights for it. Same with the Reagan. I'm sure this is from a specific video game or a specific movie, but they don't mention that, so it's not technically branded or anything. So five or six bucks on that is, you know, pretty common. Then, our little Tribble. Same thing, five or six bucks. Um, it's, it's a cool collectible. I, I like this, but you know, Tribble is like the base, most basic thing you could ever make. It's just literally like a little ball of fluff, so this really wouldn't have much resale value. This is also exclusive, but again, the word exclusive is, means so much different these days because exclusive used to mean rare. It used to mean collectible or expensive, and now it just doesn't. So this is an exclusive collectible, but five or six bucks for something of this size for a plush figure. And again, around that, give or take. <clears throat> Next, our patch. This would be like two or three bucks for something this size. Again, not branded. Um, it obviously says from the X Files, but um, the reason I don't say branded is because it doesn't come in any packaging, like branded packaging or anything like that. It's something that they had made. It's exclusive to the Nerd Block Company. I'm sure they paid some kind of rights for this, but you know, a patch of this size, even the nicest of patches, couldn't go for much more than that, even in a nice package. So, like two or three bucks, again, give or take, on a patch of that size. Then, our art prints from Lee Howard. So, uh, Lee Howard's a great artist. Obviously, they have a partnership with him. We very often see artwork from him here. So, I do like that the Nerd Block does this style of art prints instead of the posters that everyone's kind of moved away from. So, this is definitely good. Um, they do come a little bit scuffed up, so they might want to think about putting it in a plastic container because they get pretty scuffed banging around in the box. But um, I like the prints and I like the idea of it, but they did put three of them in here and that kind of hogs up some of the value. Nothing against Art Prince or Lee Howard. He's a great guy, great artist, but do we really need three Art Prince in one box? Like you could have spread them out. Like I see they're part of a series, so they all look cool together, but uh, I don't know, that seemed like kind of a cop out to take up a lot of the value for that. So, since, like I've always said, these aren't signed, these aren't numbers, so it basically is only worth the cost to make these, because I could easily copy these and make these myself. So, cardstock of this uh, size quality, like three or four bucks a piece, and that's being generous. You'd probably get them printed out a little cheaper than that, to be quite honest. Um, but three or four dollars, so there's three of them, so technically the value is nine to twelve. But that's being a little generous with that, uh, just because they're art prints. I honestly think you could get it printed out for cheaper than that, but there's a little bit of value in here because he is a good artist. So, <clears throat> that being said, that brings our value on the low end 43 and on the high end 52, which is extremely low. Um, the Nerd Block Company usually always gives right around a $50 value, 
but this one is a little bit below $50. Not by a lot, but, you know, pretty below it. So, and considering that I gave value to all three of those art prints when, you know, it kind of comes as one thing. So, I don't know, I find it hard to give value to that. So, I, again, I'm not very pleased with this block. It, it, was, it was not impressive at all. It kind of seems like they're phoning it in. Usually that this company does great with whatever product they do, but this one, the first two months have not been great. Like, there's been nothing super bad. We got exclusive items, but exclusive furball and exclusive patch. It's like, well, I'm glad they're exclusive, but they're just not that great of items. And then we got a common pop figure. The shirt was fantastic. No doubt about the shirt. That was great. But then again, three art prints. That's, that's just too many to be taking up value in one single box. Um, if it was a box for artists, then maybe. But for a sci-fi block, three art prints just seems like too much. And it's I, I felt weird giving that much value to that many art prints. So honestly, I'd still value this on the lower end of that. And then you didn't get much more than you paid for, which again, so surprising from the Nerd Block Company. So I don't know if this box is going to stick around. I really love all their other boxes, but this one is just, the, again, it seems like they've kind of been phoning it in. So... All that being said, I'm only going to give this a 5.5 out of 10 because, you know, you did get more than you paid for and you did get a cool shirt, but the rest of it was just okay. Even though it was exclusive, uh, I could have easily done without any of these items and I don't think anyone would go crazy over them, especially common pop figures. So, And the value was remarkably low for this company. They almost always give $50, so I'm pretty surprised, um, especially considering this is such a new block. You'd think they would like blow out the doors with this to try and get new customers to, to subscribe to this box but they really didn't do that maybe not enough people subscribe to it to begin with so maybe they didn't get enough money in I'm not sure what the answer is there but very unimpressed by this box I gotta say so 5.5 is pretty low as far as my ratings go but you know I'm, I gotta be honest here and I gotta be strict because I'm trying to help out I'm trying to help you guys so doing what I can here but anyway this has been Sci-Fi Block T-shirt, 8 out of 10. Box, 5.5 out of 10. Let me know what you guys thought about the items, whether you loved them, whether you could have done without them, and what you thought of the rating. Talk to you guys soon. Love you all. Peace.